It was a heavy, manpower-intensive operation, and they just needed bodies. That's Sergeant John Mattingly describing the Louisville police operation that resulted in the death of 26-year-old Brianna Taylor on March 13th. We didn't write it. We didn't do any investigation. We did none of the background. He was interviewed by investigators with the Public Integrity Unit nearly two weeks after the incident. Mattingly, who's been with the department since 2000, was shot in the leg while executing the search warrant. I could really feel the blood in my leg, so I reached down and felt it. My hand was full of blood, and I knew it, it hit my femoral at that point. Mattingly says he and other members of the Criminal Interdiction Unit knocked multiple times, then identified themselves as police. Police, come to the door, search warrant, police search warrant. Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, was interviewed by police for several hours after the shooting. He told investigators he never heard anyone say police. She's yelling at the top of her lungs, and I am too at this point. Who is it? No answer, no response, no anything. The gunfire began when officers busted down the door. Walker says he fired a shot because he believed they were intruders. The door, like, comes, like, off the hinges. So I just let off one shot, like I still can't see who it is or anything. So I just returned fire, I got four rounds off, and it was like simultaneous, just boom, 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 boom. The search warrant for Taylor's apartment was one of five LMPD obtained as part of a larger PBI investigation targeting a suspected drug dealer. In the interview, Mattingly says he was told Taylor was a soft target. Said she should be there alone because they knew where their target was. Walker was arrested after the shooting. That night, he told officers he still didn't understand why his girlfriend had been killed. I asked that out there a million times, like, why were y'all even at the door? Nobody had an answer. Denny Camper, WLKY News. The charges against Kenneth Walker were dismissed in May. His attorney has filed a motion to prevent him from being recharged in the case.